The other problem, ecology, I think. I cannot now go into it, but I think ecology is in the long term a problem which you cannot solve it with market measures. You can do a lot of good things with market, like include the price, sorry, ecological damage as an externality, but simply the stakes are too high. Because market, in order to work, needs time. You know what I mean? Like, you try this, you try that, the best wins, if. I'm not so sure. But the problem is that with Chernobyl, you, can, you cannot say one Chernobyl, the other Chernobyl. Okay, before we find a solution to market, we will be all that. Uh, then uh, intellectual property, as I already said. Then even biogenetics, I think. You know, Fukuyama, of all people, Fukuyama, who was this big utopian, the end of history, now thinks now renounces his thesis. He thinks that, that uh, biogenetics is a strong argument enough. He sees very clearly that biogenetics brought us something which is a totally new situation where all the coordinates are mixed. And I agree, let me conclude with the last, not even story detail. I read two weeks ago that in England they already constructed a first wheelchair for crippled people, which is run... Uh, totally by thoughts. Yeah, you know what they did? They, your, you have some kind of a cap with, I don't know what, uh, brain detectors on your head, and it's still very primitive, like it cannot really read your mind, but it can do something primitive, it can be done. It can read if you think strongly about forward, backward, left, right. It somehow detects, so you know, you see it, and you just think strongly, forward your wheelchair moves forward. I mean, uh, now you'll say, what's so horrible about this? It is, because in a way, the very fundamental, what is our being human? Our being human is experienced as, I have my free thought. I'm here, you know, my thought is here, reality is out. Now, you will say, but this is wonderful. We are becoming like God. Like, you know, I think my thinking immediately has effects on reality. No, the problem is to put it in vulgar pornographic terms that what goes out also goes in, no? If it goes in this direction, it also goes in the opposite direction. For example, I was told, this is a great hushed up debate in the United States now, that militaries are doing already like crazy this kind of uh, experiments, no? That is to say, uh, they already isolated the waves which your brain radiates when you are in a total panic and they already know how to produce them artificially, and then they bombard you and you are automatically in panic. They already have a simple machine, it can be carried in a suitcase, I was told, where it covers about three, four football fields. I press a button, all people are there in panic. I mean, I, no, no, I'm not here apocalypse, it's not the end of the world. I'm just saying things are happening which affect deeply the most elementary sense of what does it mean to be human? You know, our understanding of being human till now is I have a, this basic distance between inside and outside. I fantasize my free thoughts, reality is out. It's getting undermined. And here, I didn't forget really to conclude, Clinton was right. Clinton wrote along these lines a wonderful text without any irony, a couple of months ago, I think again, October, November, where there was United Nations Food Day, he openly admitted, we blew it up. That's the title of the text. With, you know how United States and developed countries were putting immense pressure on the third world to open their agriculture to the market and so on and so on. Clinton says this. The result is hunger now. Why? Because how did it work? Many countries, like Indonesia and so on, followed it, Haiti, crucial case. What did this mean? The best land was privatized, bought by foreign companies who used it to export, not even food, many industrial plants. Local people, it wasn't immediately a catastrophe for them. They work there, they get paid. But once you have a crisis, like now, there are two things. First, all of a sudden, this export industrial agricultural products, plants, you cannot sell it, lower demand, and point two, because of global warming, because of new economic power of China and so on, as we all know, the price of food went double, triple. And because the countries cannot sustain themselves, you have hunger. Hunger is a new phenomenon. 
an incredible amount of people are already in hunger. Now I'm repeating Clinton, and I know from my friends in Haiti, do you know, and this is for me the tragic, every, all people think, oh, now things are moving, China, economy, yeah, 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 but China and Haiti and many countries where, do you know that in Haiti I saw a TV report, they are now selling on the market, how do you call it, water mixed with earth, mud, many trains, mud cakes, literally, cakes made of mud. Because they discovered they have some minimal uh, minerals and they somehow fill your stomach. And so what I'm, and then Clinton finishes in a very nice way. He said, the lesson is, food is too important to be simply left to the market. But now I just would push our friend Clinton, I saw the poster of that big image, a little bit further. Let's follow Clinton to the end. Food, yes. Then wouldn't you agree that education also? It's not simply... It cannot be left to the market. Wouldn't you agree that arms industry couldn't be left to the market? Wouldn't you agree that, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that health cannot be simply left to the market? Because then rich people will live and so on. So, and so on and so on. At the end, maybe some Chinese plastic toy, toys can be left to the market, no? And communism will be back, believe me. Thank you very much.